here at the Cheddington Bicton Park Five Star. What an incredible weekend of competition. Before we talk to our riders and her first five star victory, Gemma Tattersall. I would just talk to Andrew Fell and Helen West because if you guys just come here just a second, it has been the most extraordinary effort. 11 weeks to put on a five star is just unheard of. Ladies and gentlemen, honestly, what an achievement. When the idea came about, could we? Could we do it? Uh, did you ever think, actually, do you know what, we would be standing here right now? Probably not, because at the point somebody mentioned it to me, I think it was just the night before we were about to run the four star, by which point my nerves were literally shot, and the thought of running a five star, I would have run to the hills. So at that exact second, I thought, let's just wait and see how we get through the rest of this week. And then following the success of that, I thought, actually, do you know what? We have such an amazing team here. We could do it. Um, and the rest is history. Yes, but you haven't filled in the fact that uh, and then after that you left. <laughs> you went back to the British event and you left me out of by myself. Darling, it was all set up for you by then. It was, all you had to do was just run it. All the hard work was done. Um, it's a very good point, to be fair, Andrew, because what an event. You know, Bigton is amazing at running big events, but this is the biggest of the big. There was a lot of pressure, a lot of risk this weekend, and I think we can all safely say you've pulled it out of the bag. How proud of your team are you? I'm massively proud. The team have done the most amazing job. When we started it, we were looking and seeing how we were going to get it done, and everyone just stepped up. Absolutely every one of our, my team uh, stepped up and delivered. Um, I thought Mark did the most amazing job on the cross-country course. Adrian did, Adrian Ditcham did a fantastic job of building and the dressing of it. It looked absolutely stunning out there. We had guys coming in with tankers and they were in on a Thursday night and then they came in on Friday night and they were pretty much all night long watering, getting the water on the course to try to make the ground as good as we possibly could do. And I thought what well, the ground there was cracking. Um, and I think there's so much, the team, everyone just really stepped up and we made such a difference. They did, and it has been a resounding success. Helen, Andrew, your entire team, from all of us, thank you. And now, the lady who, at her 24th run at Five Star, Gemma Tattersall, you are a Five Star winner. How does it feel? Um, are we on? Press the button, press the button. She's done one or two of these before. Hello. Is it working? Yeah, yeah. There we go. Um, I am genuinely lost for words. I can't believe it. It seems to have taken me a very long time. Um, and it's been a, a very long road and a lot of hard work and a fabulous, fabulous little horse. Um, yeah, I can't believe it really. And I can't believe that I'm sat here between these two total legends. Um, I just, yeah, I mean, Pippa's been my idol forever and Piggy's literally the most incredible rider in the whole world. So, yeah, I can't believe it. <laughs> and what does it mean you were there, not only when he was born, but as an embryo, to have produced him all the way up through the levels. He's 11 now to a five-star winner is just remarkable. Um, yeah, amazing. Um, and his little expression on his face has not changed from day one. Um, he was always just pricked his ears and said hello and where are we going now? You know, he's just a little yes man and um, it's, just, it's just unbelievably special, yeah. How long do you think it will take to sink him? Because this, this has been a moment you've dreamed of, a moment your team has dreamed of. It's an incredible one. Are you going to yeah. celebrate? It's definitely not sunk in yet. I definitely feel like I'm a little bit, little bit dazed sat here talking to you guys. Um, but yeah, we will definitely be celebrating without a doubt. <laughs> Um, and what about the pressure in that final show jumping phase? Because Pippa went in, she jumped clear. Of course clear. she jumped clear. <laughs> <laughs> it was beautiful as well. <laughs> um, yeah, I did felt like uh, most of it, yes. Um, yeah, I mean, I felt the pressure anyway, obviously. Um, and do you know what? All I thought of was I'm at Hickstead. 
which is one of my favourite places to go and ride and jump. And I'm so used to <clears throat> jumping in those grass arenas in the main ring in ring two. And I literally just pretended, shut my eyes, and I thought, no, I'm just at Hickston. And I'm just going to go in and do what I do day in, day out on so many different horses and go and jump clear around. And that's what I did. That is absolutely what you did. You did it in some style as well. Uh, the celebration was brilliant. Um, <laughs> can I just ask a word for your team as well? Because there's a huge army behind you. As when you talk about that, it just makes me cry. <laughs> oh, come on, tell us, tell us. Oh, no, it's just been amazing. You know, my family from when I was a tiny girl all the way through um, and, you know, my team at home work endlessly hard. Um, my <clears throat> absolute nutter boyfriend Gary um, and yeah just everyone everyone it's just such a team thing you know it's not just me and, and Alfie it's everyone behind the scenes that makes it happen and you know Charlotte has Charlotte my head girl has just done the most incredible job looking after Alfie this week and yeah we're all we, we all know what it takes to get a horse to five star it's you know it's, it's quite a headache and um, you know just thank you to my team and um, finally I've managed to get us a five star win. It's taken a while. An incredible, incredible achievement. Ladies and gentlemen, your Teddington Victim Park five star winner. And Pippa, your last two runs at five star, a win and a second. You've got two horses inside the top five. You couldn't have been more proud of your boys this weekend. Yeah. It's the button again, it's the button. Yeah, no, ab absolutely delighted with both horses. Um, you know, they're, they're both jumping machines. Um, and I would second Gemma's feelings about her her boy, um, obviously Billy Walkon is one of our, from the Billy Stud, and he's incredibly special to me because his sister, Billy Shannon, many of you might have known, she was on the list for London. Um, and I have to thank enormously the, the Walken Jaws who own um, Billy Walkon, because they own Billy Shannon. She was a fabulous mare, and very sadly we lost her to leukemia. So this was the brother, so it's very special having, again, you know, I've had him right from, Work go and as, as Gemma says it takes many years a lot of emotions a lot of love um, building up that partnership and as Gem said it's it's such a massive massive team um, from farriers to girls to owners but for sure I mean Emily my girl here I have a small team at home doing my event horses forget about the Billy Stud horses <laughs> and they've done an exceptional job and Emily here has really done the horses justice and and yeah I'm incredibly grateful to my backup team and very very elated with the way the horses have gone. They've both been brilliant in all three phases uh, what about the team here at Victim we heard from Helen and from Andrew but to put a five star on in 11 weeks how grateful are the riders how much did you guys need this? I think all the way through, we've been very, very grateful. I think absolutely it's what the sport has has needed over the last two years. I think they have done an outstanding job. And I think we've had, for sure, we've had all the horrible gut feeling, the nerves, the jitters. We absolutely had to respect the cross-country track. But I think what's been wonderful about this weekend and the sport we've had here is we've We've had a lot of fun. I don't. I hope Helen and Andrew won't mind me saying that. Almost slightly reminds me of some of the fantastic events they put on in Ballandennis, Andrew and his family. I love the fact that um, having met the blacksmith because I had an incident with with the shoeing on the dressage day. It was wonderful last night. We had a great night with the sponsors in their tent and. The blacksmith was the DJ and then I took over from <laughs> that and so we had all sorts of very fun songs and, and it was a wonderful night last night and, and I helped my greatest rival home last night. Um, Which one? <laughs> Which one? <laughs> Piggy, okay. Yeah. Um, and, and all week, it's, it's absolutely, I think it's been a, it's a, been a real spirit of the sport. I think the the whole organising team and the work they've done on the ground, the work they've done on the course, the stewards, everyone has been on the same side, the ground jury, and I think it's been 
absolutely a pleasure to be part of it. And sometimes you can get a feeling them and us, and absolutely, it's been a, the most incredible feeling. And yes, it's it's been different from Burley Re, the crowds and things, but I have to say that it's been incredibly special, I think these guys will back me up, to actually be um, at a competition again with spectators. And it has been, it's really touching, and, and we didn't need to have 100,000 people here. We, the crowds yesterday were outstanding, and, and, and you felt it, and you felt the atmosphere, and then today again, it was, so I think we have to thank all of you guys. It's, it's lifted us to, I think, compete at the top end of our, you know, the way we are capable of hopefully competing. So, so I'd like to thank you guys. Very well said. Pippa, second and fifth, I should say, two inside the top five, an absolutely incredible achievement. Now, Piggy, it's always tough going into the show jumping to lead, uh, uh, but finishing in third place, Vanir Kamira, she is 16 years of age. She has seven five-star completions. She has five top five finishes. You must be so proud of her. Uh, of course I am. <laughs> Try again. Go again. After all of that tutelage. I'm so confident about the button. My light's on. I know. My light's on. Have this one. <laughs> it says it should be working. Um, yes, Tilly Bean, bless her, she's, she's 16 and she owes me, Trevor Dickens, our whole team, she, she owes us nothing. And, um, you know, what she went through yesterday, how she did it, you know, this isn't, this isn't her bestest phase, she doesn't find it the easiest, she's a, she's a horse of all heart. Um, she gave me her whole heart, guts, mind, everything to give me a badminton win, which is probably the best day ever of my life. And I'm just trying to enjoy a wonderful little horse and all the good things about her and help her as much as I can. And we're, we're a teamwork and we're a team. We work together. I, I didn't actually feel any pressure today. I'm very competitive, so I knew that I was going to give it my best shot, but you're also realistic. Um, she still jumped really well. You know, she it wasn't like... You know, I thought that was big in there. It walked big. Um, and so I was thinking, oh, God, I hope, you know, I've had seven jumps the last two rounds <laughs> down. So I was just hoping, you know, for her, she's been so wonderful that she just went in and, and you know, did the best she could. And I'm, so I'm really proud. And, and I know how, how Gemma, Gemma feels. We all work so unbelievably hard. And there are just the days that someone looks down and says, do you know what, today's your day. And do you know what? It's totally 100% meant to be Gemma's day, and she totally deserves it. And it's just it's great for the sport. It is absolutely amazing. And, and do you know what? That actually sums up the relationship between the three of you all week. And it is the first all female pony. I would have liked British to have beaten her. Don't, don't, don't. Yeah. <laughs> So, so with Pepsi, so I was like, yeah, I, would, I was giving it a go. <laughs> it is the first all-female podium on British soil in 18 years. So it's a little bit of a If we could ask now for any questions from the media or for anybody watching, your chance to ask these incredible three anything that you would like to. Gary? Gary? Gemma? Love you so much.
extraordinary <laughs> a twist that I think uh, nobody quite saw coming, but an incredible one nonetheless. I mean, I don't know how you guys are going to follow this, because to be honest, I think Gemma caught the bouquet. <laughs> What an absolute privilege it has been. Have we got any questions, Kate? I know you've got a microphone. Can we go on the hand night? Can we go on the hand night? Good job you didn't say no. <laughs> What an absolute privilege it has been to watch everybody this weekend, but in particular, your top three in the Cheddington Victim Park Five Star and the future Mr. and Mrs. Stevens. <laughs>